Title, Unraveling the Mysteries of the Indus Civilization, a Comprehensive Exploration. Introduction, the Indus Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, stands as one of the most enigmatic and advanced ancient civilizations of the world. Flourishing in the fertile plains of the Indus River Valley around 2600 BC to 1900 BCE, it encompassed a vast geographical area, spanning present-day Pakistan, northwest India, and parts of Afghanistan and Iran. Despite its significance, the Indus civilization's history and legacy remain shrouded in mystery, compelling archaeologists and historians to unravel its complexities. Geographical Context the heartland of the Indus civilization was situated along the banks of the Indus River and its tributaries, including the Gaga Hakra River. The region's fertile soil, fed by the annual flooding of the rivers, supported agriculture, which was the backbone of the civilization. The cities of Harappa and Mohenjo Daro are among the most prominent archaeological sites discovered, offering invaluable insights into the urban planning, architecture, and daily life of the Harappan people. Urban planning and architecture. One of the defining features of the Indus civilization is its remarkable urban planning and sophisticated architecture. The cities of Harappa and Mohenjo Daro exhibit evidence of meticulous city planning, with well laid out streets, drainage systems, and multi story buildings constructed from kiln fired bricks. The uniformity of the city layout suggests centralized planning and governance, indicating a highly organized society. Trade and economy. The Indu civilization was a thriving commercial hub, engaging in long distance trade with Mesopotamia, Central Asia, and other regions. Archaeological excavations have revealed seals, pottery, and other artifacts bearing Indus script, suggesting a system of writing used for administrative and commercial purposes. The discovery of dockyards at Lothal, a coastal site in present day Gujarat, further attests to the civilization's maritime trade networks. Social structure and religion. The social structure of the Indus civilization remains a subject of debate among scholars. Evidence suggests a relatively egalitarian society with a prosperous middle class engaged in trade and craft production. Religion played a significant role in the lives of the Harappan people, as evidenced by the presence of fire altars, ritual baths, and figurines representing deities. However, the precise nature of their religious beliefs and practices remains elusive due to the lack of decipherable written records. Decline and Legacy The decline of the Indus civilization around 1900 BCE remains one of the most intriguing aspects of its history. Various theories have been proposed, including environmental factors such as climate change, deforestation, and the diversion of river courses. The arrival of Indo-Aryan migrants from Central Asia is also considered a possible contributing factor. Despite its decline, the legacy of the Indus civilization endured, influencing subsequent cultures in the Indian subcontinent. Conclusion. The Indus civilization stands as a testament to the ingenuity and sophistication of ancient human societies. Its achievements in urban planning, trade, and culture continue to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. While many mysteries surrounding the civilization remain unsolved, Ongoing archaeological research and technological advancements offer hope of unravelling its secrets and gaining a deeper understanding of this remarkable ancient civilization. Governance and Rulers The governance structure and rulership of the Indus civilization are subjects of speculation and scholarly debate due to the lack of conclusive evidence from decipherable written records. Unlike other contemporaneous civilizations like ancient Egypt, or Mesopotamia, the Indus civilization has not left behind extensive inscriptions or royal tombs that provide direct insight into its political system. However, based on archaeological evidence, certain conclusions and hypotheses can be drawn regarding governance and rulership in the Indus civilization. One centralized authority, the uniformity of urban planning and the presence of standardized weights and measures across different sites suggest a degree of centralized authority or governance. It is likely that there was a central administration responsible for overseeing key aspects of city planning, trade, and possibly resource allocation. Mub 2. City-states or regional centers. Some scholars suggest that the Indus civilization 
was organized into a series of city-states or regional centers, each with its own local administration and rulership. This decentralized model would imply a degree of autonomy for individual cities or regions, while acknowledging a broader cultural and economic network that connected them. 3. Ruler or elite class. The absence of monumental architecture typically associated with royal palaces or tombs has led some researchers to propose that the Indus civilization may have lacked a centralized monarchy or identifiable ruling elite. Instead, it is possible that leadership was more collective or distributed among a council of elders, religious figures, or wealthy merchants. 4. Symbolic Authority the discovery of seals and seal impressions bearing intricate motifs and inscriptions has led to speculation that these objects may have been used by ruling elites or administrators as symbols of authority and prestige. The presence of certain motifs, such as depictions of animals or ritual scenes, suggests a possible religious or ceremonial significance associated with rulership. 5. Ceremonial centers. Some archaeological sites, such as Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, exhibit features that could have served as ceremonial or administrative centers. These centers may have played a role in governance, possibly hosting religious rituals, civic gatherings, or administrative functions. Transition of power. The absence of clear evidence of dynastic succession or royal succession rituals makes it difficult to ascertain how leadership transitions occurred within the civilization. It is possible that leadership positions were filled through inheritance, election, or merit-based appointment. In summary, while the precise governance structure and rulership of the Indus civilization remain elusive, archaeological evidence suggests a degree of centralized authority and urban organization, possibly organized around city-states or regional centers. The absence of definitive royal artifacts or inscriptions complicates efforts to identify specific rulers or dynasties, highlighting the need for continued research and interdisciplinary approaches to unraveling the political complexities of this ancient civilization.